Mucolytic agents are a class of drugs that help break down and control the production of excess mucus. They are used to treat patients with conditions such as bronchiectasis and cystic fibrosis. We created this video to cover the different types and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Mucus is a vicious, sticky substance that coats and protects various tissues in the body. It lines the airways of the lungs and plays an important role in keeping out foreign particles and bacteria. However, when the body produces too much mucus, it makes it difficult for the patient to breathe and can lead to serious respiratory problems. This is when mucolytic agents would be indicated. Mucolytics are drugs that help break down mucus so that it becomes thinner and less vicious. This makes it easier for the patient to cough up for removal, which helps make it easier to breathe. The two most common types of mucolytic agents that are administered in respiratory care include acetylcysteine and Dornex Alpha. Respiratory therapists are required to administer these drugs, therefore it is important to understand their indications and how they work. First, let's talk about acetylcysteine, aka mucomist. This is a mucolytic agent that can be administered by the inhalation of aerosol particles from a nebulizer. It is indicated for the treatment of bronchopulmonary secretions in patients with bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis, and emphysema. Mucomist is known for its distinct, foul-smelling odor. However, this drug is effective in breaking down thick mucus so that it is easier to remove. Bronchoconstriction is an adverse side effect of mucomist. Therefore, a bronchodilator is often administered along with mucomist in order to open the patient's airways and prevent wheezing. Next up is Dornase Alpha, aka Pulmazine. It is a mucolytic agent that is most commonly used for the treatment of patients with cystic fibrosis. It's an inhaled drug that is administered in aerosol form with a nebulizer. It helps improve pulmonary function by decreasing the thickness of mucus and decreasing respiratory tract infections in cystic fibrosis patients. We already mentioned a few, but let's talk about the diseases that cause excess mucus production. There are several respiratory diseases that result in excess mucus, which would benefit from mucolytic agents. Some examples include cystic fibrosis, bronchiectasis, asthma, COPD, and chronic bronchitis. Each of these diseases has different characteristics but one common side effect that they all have in common is that they can result in the overproduction of mucus. This can lead to difficulty breathing and other respiratory problems. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, Breathe easy, my friend.